the thing in front of him, at first he thought it was another hunter. He thought he thought it was another person because it was it had it was shaped very much like the the, the silhouette or kind of the, the like the figure that he was seeing. It had two legs, uh, it had a torso, two arms, uh, you know, and a head. So he thought it was just another hunter. But as it came closer out of the uh, out of the brush, what he saw before him was definitely not human uh, yeah. it, it was humanoid um you could say and that's what he refers it to but it was wearing a um a, was it a, a, how many uh, first first question i'm gonna ask is uh was it a biclops what was the clop situation <laughs> i had two eyes it was a biclops <laughs> okay biclops biclops, 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 classification. biclops <laughs> bipedal there we go <laughs> um yeah it, it it was a it was a figure that was decked out in this skin type black one piece outfit uh which had these, love those one know, he describes man. it as yeah. having a, a pair of uh harness like straps that crisscrossed across its chest and then also had a metallic belt uh which he's recalled seeing some type of like yellow uh six pointed what he says is a six pointed star seemed to seem to look like oh, um, space Jew for the future <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you talking about <laughs> now the physical description of the, the the creature is something that is uh you know it's been represented in artwork because because eventually after his experience carl would go on to talk with like a number of uh artists to, to kind of illustrate uh try to get a, a a picture of of what this creature looked like um but just to to describe from his description he said that this thing had no detectable ears that had very small eyes and had no eyebrows. Um, hmm. The hair, if you could call it hair, that was on his head, uh, he said seemed to be like it was just kind of very coarse, and he, can, he compared it to straw, like cubes. Just, like, yeah, straw, <laughs> like tubes of straw, just like growing yeah, kind straight of like out of its of. head. Yeah, and it had a very, it had a small, like slit, like mouth, and he said it had these very. He said what exposed like there were three large human like teeth, um, big old, time. big old chicklets, three big of old them chompers, chompers. Yeah. popping down, big, big old. Buck teeth, <laughs> big old yeah. buck teeth, triples up and down um, like horse, just big old grinders. And there the was the, <laughs> underbite. <laughs> no, no, perfectly even. No, just, just a line, like, just like they bite. open the big mouth yeah. and it's just like three giant teeth instead of all your teeth, <laughs> yeah. just giant three teeth. Um, there was a, uh, uh, you know, some of the remarkable <laughs> characteristics was there. There was no chin to speak of. Like the head just went kind of straight down. Like it was just kind of like, like from mouth down. And then you had the um, <laughs> where where his right hand should have been on a normal human. They said it, there was some type of drill or cone like device that was attached. <laughs> drill to the fist. So he's got well, a drill buddy, fist. That's a prober three thousand baby. Buddy. <laughs> where did um, show? He's like revving it up. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and then on the left arm. Um, Carl noticed that there was nothing. It just ended in just kind of a, a stump. Like there was nothing there. Like a smooth. Well, that's because stump. that's because that's it's for they have the quick attach probe attachments. Sure. Right. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, okay, I got this one. Usually works. <laughs> right. But just in case this, we, I need the triangle one. I'll leave this one empty in case I need to quickly clip it in. Yeah. <laughs> As you do, yes. <laughs> so, um, I, another thing is that the the creature he said, like a, as it moved towards him, like it was bow legged, like it had two legs on the bottom, but it was very like it, yeah. I guess it was kind of walked with like a bow legged yeah. gait. If you don't um, know what that is? Imagine yourself riding a horse, and then take away the horse. Yes. <laughs> Um, and the creature moved straight towards Carl, like noticing him standing there and addressed him directly saying, how you doing? <laughs> hey there, bud. Hi, how's it going? How you doing? Eh? What's a, what, what language, what language is he talking? This is English. Is he beat bopping? Is English? No, no. He it's English. Yeah, as yeah. far as far as as Carl as can, he fucking as determined, he, it was English. Like it was perfect waddle, English. As he waddles in with his one cone hand, yeah. Hey. Just kind of kind, just kind of like moseyed in, you know, yeah. like just moseyed over to Carl and how are you doing? Like I, it's, I, that's what it says. Hey there, partner. Mm. Um, uh, part of me thinks when I like when you read this story. 
it makes a little more sense when I was reading it. A part of me went, I wonder if he actually saw this thing talking or if he just thinks he did. And this thing was just, he heard it in his, in his like head and said like, like, Oh, how's it, how's it going? Like he, like whatever it was, it was telepathically communicating with him. Cause it would be, I think it would be easier for, for me to think that something could telepath telepathically ask you like how you're doing rather than be like some like bow legged creature from like, just be like, how's it going? Uh, yeah. But they, they traveled this far. You don't think it just seems a really to, uh, <laughs> but intelligent enough to like learn our, well, just, well, I okay, well, then you're, by his you're mouth. using slang. You're using slang. Well, I mean, it, 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 just, it just seems yeah, like an know, he seems like familiar probably, way to address somebody. To be this just is like, how you would be comfortable hearing, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm just judging. Just, I'm judging it by his because uh, we talked about he had a very small mouth. So does he? Did he? And no chin. So did he have? Did he Fair have the? Uh, just big teeth. That? Did he have Fair the brewer. attributes to be able to actually speak clearly? Because it seems like the way the way that he. Description is, but like, there's no way he can open his mouth because he's got no mouth, no chin. Hey, hey, no, he has mouth. Girl. It's just like it's very small. small. And yeah, he's, he's got, got, got no lips. Teeth. She's she's got got very no lips small. I mean, to form there's plenty the... of people who have small mouths and they can still talk, but they don't have three yeah. teeth and a tiny chin. Right, but they still got teeth. I mean, okay, I, so yeah, I don't know what it would sound like. So he's got, he's got people, fully hey, formed listen, vocal cords. I know drawing. people with no teeth. I don't know. I don't like it. Does he have a tongue? I don't know. I did. That's, that's what's important. Script, probably. Yeah. Tongue would be. Important. Well, you need that to be able to speak. That's true. Yeah. So we can. Um, we, he's got six giant teeth and a tongue and a for tongue. sure. <laughs> for sure. We know that. Little, bitty mouth. Little lips. Um, <laughs> little purdy mouth. Little bird. Yeah. Little purdy bird mouth. Uh, little so, bird lips. so Carl, to his credit, even though he is. Uh, shocked by what he has seen uh, oh. flabbergasted um he he does respond and kind of just says like i'm okay <laughs> like i guess like uh, his i think his response varies depending on like which article you read but it was something yeah. like just like pretty good uh, i'm good i guess <laughs> well the one the one of the accounts that i read was that like carl said that he was so scared but he was trying to like keep his composure so that right. this thing di- like didn't know he was scared so he was just like Good. Like, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I get, yeah. <laughs> how, how how are you? Yeah. Uh, so, and the creature kind of asked the follow up, and he was like, you know, are you hungry? And and Carl replied that, that you know, just I didn't really kind of know what to do, but I guess he just decided to be just honest and was just like a little. <laughs> Like a little, and uh, so the creature apparently floated over to him, like it, like withdrawed it from a from a pocket or a storage yeah. uh, compartment or something. Um, there was a, a Man, bucket. Of, he, fresh. He, <laughs> it he's got a, better. What did he grab it with? He's got a stump and a fucking drill. No, he floated yeah. it over. He like, floated like, out. He, just, he like, I came oh, probably so shot like, out of his sleeve. Oh, so it's a wand. It's a Wimgardium <laughs> leviosa. It's got a yeah. wand hand and drill hand and fucking. All right. Um, and so uh, it's the man who hunts. <laughs> to die. He, uh, so the the creature like floated over between the distance of them, the, between the space between them was a, was a what seemed to be it was a packet of pills, and oh, and told and told Carl take one, <laughs> and, um, fucking tic tac baby. You know, and, and and of course, like you know, as as I'm Car- sure Carl's a smart guy, and he's like, you know, who the fuck's gonna? Take I don't take pills drugs. From I don't strangers. take pills from strangers. <laughs> this isn't a rave, you weirdo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's no way though. Like in this situation, like this thing's just like take one. You're not taking yeah. it. I, everyone uh, here is taking that pill. You're just like. Not, not only does he say take one, he says it will last four days. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean it's going to last four days? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just raving. Yeah. Just, I mean, probably yeah, four days. I'm like, four days? Like, I've got work in the wings. <laughs> it's just a slow release like, uh, LSD pill. Just slowly dissolves over four days. <laughs> and and Carl is not usually predisposed to taking any pills of any kind. Like usually he's like, I don't I he says that he was usually like not even a person like a fan of aspirin. Like it wasn't really that yeah, kind they, of person. Well, it's because they pissed us those rigors so much because they're <laughs> <laughs> uh and so but uh Carl says that he did 
take one of the pills. And then he kind of did so without any hesitation. And he says that, it, you know, it, whether it was a shock or, or something else, some kind of compulsion that, uh, that was placed inside his mind, uh, he, you know, he felt. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.